trouble last night. And tonight is going to be even easier. I found places on the ship that the captain doesn't even know about. And I've got a lot of things to say to you. For instance? Well, I love you very much now last night. Yes, I think the subject came up. I'm going to marry you. Anything about that? Yes, but let me remind you, I'm still happily engaged. Sailor, what are you doing here? Follow me. Aye, aye, sir. Yes, sir. I even disobey orders for you. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the trip, Mrs. Harcourt. I've never been so bored in my life. But Mrs. Harcourt, we're making 24 knots. I'm not interested in rope tricks. It's the dullest passenger list I've ever seen. No celebrities on board, no one of importance. There's Reno Sweeney. She's not famous. She's notorious. Some like them better that way. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, oh, dear me. I forgot to ask the captain about the seagulls. The seagulls? Sailor. Where do the seagulls go at night? Why the glory, ma'am? <laughs> the glory? Where's the gullery? That way, to just blow on Edith. The gullery man will be happy to show it to you. Come on, let's go find it. Tell me, Mother. Oh, Shelly, you see a big tall one with you. <laughs> that disguise is perfect. Nobody, nobody's going to recognize you in that outfit. Do you really think so? Yeah, it's Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. <laughs> well, this isn't the lousiest looking sailor I've ever seen. Hi, Moonface. That makes both of our disguises perfect. Moonface Martin, the slickest con man in 46 states. I know you are aware. I already know. <laughs> he may be a con man, but he's my pal. I knew Moody here was under wraps, but I didn't know your face was decorated in the U.S. post office. This ship's officers think I'm Snake Eyes Johnson. Snake Eyes Johnson? He didn't make the ship, and Doc gave me a second. Well, maybe I could fix you up with some camouflage. Oh, Reno, there's something else I'd rather you do. Sure, Billy, say it and it's done. Reno, did you get an English accent off my hands? Who is the guy? Sir Evelyn Oakley. He's the guy who thinks he's going to marry my girl. Ah, the only way to get rid of that guy is to bump him off. <laughs> no, uh, no rough stuff. <coughs> Reno, all you got to do is make a play for him. I could try, Billy, but no promises. Oh, John, there you are. Have you seen Mr. Hill? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, there's no going into the, uh, the mizzen mast. We don't have a mizzen mast. Well, then there must have been somebody else. Never mind that. Come on, sailor, help me find this man. Aye, aye, sir, yes, sir. Who's she looking for? Oh, she's looking for... Billy. <laughs> well, we ought to be a great help to her. Do you know this Englishman Billy's talking about? I recognize what I'm talking. This guy's got a monocle on his throat. Oh, there you are, Doctor. Oh, hell. I mean, hello. <laughs> I'm taking your stand from abroad. Oh, that's not my ship out of me. That's Reno Sweeney. Oh, not the Reno Sweeney. Give me an intro, old chap, will you? Oh, Reno, Miss Sweeney, I'd like you to meet you. Um. My name's Evelyn Oakley. I'm delighted to know you, Miss Sweeney. I spent an evening at your nightclub once, quite eventful. Matter of fact, it was there I proposed to my fiancé. You mean propositioned. Is that what you Americans call it? It's in my nightclub, it's a proposition. Well, I had quite the evening. Your singing seemed to steer me, sent my pulse is racing. I turned to Miss Harcourt right there, and I propositioned her. See here, Miss Harcourt, I said. Why don't we get married in a year or two? I think you better give him his money back. Oh, she'll be so delighted to know I've met you. Shall I try and find her? Please do. And I say, can't we all have cocktails together in my cab and see at one o'clock? Sure, I'll love it. I'll go find Miss Harcourt and let her know. Chili bye. You were just scraped. You only kept it out of Billy's hair for uh, a minute. Ah, oh, never mind, Moonface. I've got a date with him. Yeah, but you can't put him in front of his girlfriend. He's a crown, you know. Why can't you get him his cab earlier? I catch the guy running at the temperature. He's Englishman of high blood. Well, yeah, you're right. So then, let's frame him. He wears something that slips off easily. That is fine. I'll bust it on you. 
accuse him of tearing your clothes off, and I'll blackmail him to breaking the engagement. And get thee behind me, Rufus, I kind of like the guy. So, but you promised Billy. Thou almost persuadest me to shoot the works. Now, if you weren't a friend of Billy's, I'd have thought you. You know, there's a time and there's a place for everything. You know what? Plus, we didn't find me. I've met your beef eater, Billy. I've got a thing with him. Oh, great! He talks cute. What does he do for a living? He doesn't work right now. He's a gentleman. Well, that gentleman stuff sounds bad, but maybe I could cure him. Well, if you can keep away from hope until you reach England, and Doc, if you can keep the purse right of my way, I have got it made. You can count on me, Kate. We're a team, Billy, through thick or thin. Night and day! Right or wrong? Whoever 